let's, let's see the concept. First, you have your source database. Then you have Golden Gate, which can be Golden Gate microservice that we you can deliver using OCI Marketplace. And you have your target database. The first thing you need to set up is the extract process. So you configure the extract process and you will collect all the operations that happens in your source system in a file. Now you do the initial load on the target system, meaning you, you create a dump file or can be a backup on the source system. You move and you restore it on the target system. You know down the SCN for that load that you did, and then you configure replicate to start from this SCN. And now what you have is all the operations flowing and being applied uh, on the target system that happens on the source. Finally, you can simply move your application from the source system to the target system, and you can officially re reverse the replication. The benefits of Golden Gate is that this is the only truly zero downtime method as I mentioned in the beginning. Also, it's extremely flexible because you can do cross version, you can do cross uh, architecture, you can do cross NDNS, you can do almost cross everything. You can also use this method to go from a non multi tenant to multi tenant architecture if you want. We also recommend you to test the, the target environment before the go live. You can do this using flashback database, and this is all detailed in this MOS node. Basically, what you can do here is you can stop the replicate process in the target environment. You create a GRP there, a guarantee restore point. Then you test the target environment. After you're done with your testing, you just flash back your database to that GRP and you start back the replicate process. So you must have CQNet connectivity between the two databases. However, if you don't have it, you can use Golden Gate hubs to do like a prox of these files that are being shipped from the source environment to the target environment. We also recommend you to compress the trail files to reduce some of the network traffic. And here is in, the, in this example, if you have a 10 terabyte redo, you can reduce it to maybe for, uh, 400 gigabytes to one terabyte file, trail file size. If you use data pump as your initial load method, just don't forget that the full database export will not contain everything. So for example, you need to recreate the pub synonyms and also the database links you had. Also, if you, you want to ship the AWR uh, reports you had in your previous systems or the SQL plan baselines, the SQL profiles or SQL practice, you have specific procedures to export this information for, from your metadata. You can also encrypt the trail files to have better security while you are doing this in transit migration. Golden 8 requires database minimal supplemental loading, but this does not impose a significant overhead in your system. If you check, for example, the logical standby database, you also need supplemental loading there. But as the extract process of Golden Gate, it takes place in source system, while in a logical standby, it takes place in the target system, the supplemental loading that you need in the Golden Gate is much, much lower than what you would need in a logical standby. The target database, when you use Golden Gate, must be in the equal or higher time zone format, okay? You can check it using a select star from time zone file. If you are moving from a source system which is 11 to or 12 C and newer, there are some specific bugs that you need to apply before starting. So don't forget to check the MOS nodes for any specific bug so you don't face them during your HapCat or extract process. Also, we recommend you to enable DDL replication in your Golden Gate process especially if you have an application that truncates the tables a lot. Remember that a truncate is not a DML, a DML, it's a DDL. And also regarding sequences, for migrations like lift and shift, 
I usually recommend the customers to replicate the sequence separately after the migration of the golden gate. That way, when they go to the switch over in the new database, the sequences are already at an acceptable, acceptable level.